Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, with one of many videos available to you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. In this recording, we'll show the new option in iMachining 3D for prismatic parts. If we take a look at this part that we have on our screen, you can see that this is a totally prismatic part. And we're going to actually do all of roughing machining using iMachining 3D. And we have a special setting now specifically for prismatic parts. Let's first take a look at our operations. If we open up our iMachining 3D operation that we have over here, you can see that we now have the option over here for 3D prismatic. With 3D prismatic, you do not have to deal with anything as far as the scallop. If we remember in the 3D general, we have the option of rest rough, step up, and then we defined our scallop. But when you use iMachining 3D for prismatic parts, this field is taken care of automatically. Since this is a prismatic part, and we do not have to deal with scallops over here. The step up is dealt with automatically by iMachining 3D. Let's take a look at the actual simulation. You can see the following. First, let's actually look at the part itself. You can see we have several different flat steps on its way down on this prismatic part. We'll start off the simulation, and what you'll see is as follows. It'll first do the iMachining on the outside, as shown over here, and then start working on the inside as well over here. You can see it's taking each major step down and then starting to step up, doing that first, that spiral cut, more spiral, and then the tricordial steps into the corners itself. And when it finishes this, it'll then do the next step up. And this is dealt with automatically in eye machining prismatic parts. As you can see now, it's working on this level over here. When it finishes that level, it'll automatically step up to these other steps that we have on the way, as shown over here. We can take also another look using the Solid Verify simulation, and as you can see, it is cleaning out the outside and then stepping up on the inside. Every single step up that's needed over here, including inside these circles over here, this step up over here, as well as each step up as it goes along the part itself. First clearing off this surface, now these surfaces over here, and even this top surface over here. All the step ups are dealt with automatically with using iMachining 3D for prismatic parts. Now to deal with these corners over here, we simply added another iMachining 3D operation, again using the option of 3D prismatic, but this time we're using a smaller end mill. And nothing else has to be done. Everything else stays exactly the way it was before. Taking a quick look at the simulation, you can see that the tool is working only in the corners where it needs to work. And this again was dealt with in iMachining 3D for prismatic parts. For more videos on SolidCam Professor, please go to our website www.solidcam.com and look for the tab called SolidCam Professor. Thank you for joining us on SolidCam Professor. Take care and have a nice day.